Do you have friends who would carry you down from the roof to save you? One day, Jesus went to his old town. Great crowds of people went to see him. A group of friends wanted their paralyzed friend to be healed by Jesus. But because of the cluster of people, they had to cut a hole in the roof above Jesus then lower their friend for him. Jesus saw the faith in the group of friends and healed the man. The friends were very loyal to their paralyzed friend. More importantly, they brought it to Jesus. His friends were godly friends. Friends bring us happiness into our lives and help throw away stress. Friends can boost our confidence. They will help us through tough times and lend us a shoulder to cry on. Friends will help you reach your goals. More importantly, we need godly friends. Godly friends are those who make us better people, feel loved, and are those who bring us closer to God. Finding godly friends also means choosing your friends wisely. Sometimes it's hard to find friends, so know where to look for a friend if you need one. You can find new friends in class, church, a club, in camp, and more. You just need to find them at the right place at the right time. It also takes time to build solid friendships. In order for friendships to be well built, it entails spending enough time together to gather wonderful experiences together. But now that there's pandemic, how can we spend time together and build an unbreakable friendship? We can't talk to each other, eat together, go to the mall, and other activities. Good thing there is such a thing as social media, so that we can still spend time together. Get frightened, laugh, cry, connect, and yap together. But first, what is social media? Social media equals apps and websites that help us communicate, blog, share information, it gives people a voice and a chance to speak up, and more. Social media makes a big impact on our lives. Today, Teens, or Gen Z, are regularly connected with their friends to, through social media, spending as much time as 9 hours a day on the average on screens according to the conversion website. And this was before the pandemic. Now that we're in lockdown, we can't meet up with each other. But thanks to social media, we can still contact them. But people advise us not to use social media. Why? Besides getting our eyes sore, some people get depressed and even kill themselves because they don't have too many likes, followers, or they are bullying comments and other mad reasons. So how can we keep our friendships strong while using social media wisely? First, keep your purpose in mind, to connect. You can use these apps. Use Zoom to connect with your friends and inform them what you have done so far in quarantine. You can even share those old memories together. You can also watch Netflix together. You can still get frightened, laugh, and cry together. Play games that includes other people, like Scribble.io and Among Us. That way, you can learn from their techniques. You can still spend time together and gather more amazing experiences together. Second, you should know when to use social media. Try to control yourself by avoiding notifications and resist the temptation of opening your phone. Don't click on that power button when you're in class, in a meeting, in the table while eating, and in other occasions where social media isn't necessary. As I was preparing for this talk, I had to learn this. Because whenever I switched to other tabs and windows, I would get distracted and I would think about what I just saw instead of my talk. some teens, including myself, about how they connect with their friends. Friends who were close to their friends before the pandemic were 9 out of 10. Some of them would hang out in malls, cafes, in Maklo, and in other places. Now in the pandemic, it decreased by just one. He feels less close to his friends. But with the remaining majority, they have an even closer friendship with their friends. Almost half of them told me that they now have more friends than before the pandemic, while the rest said that they have the same number of friends. Seven of them told me that they use social media often to connect, while three of them said that they use social media sometimes. Some of them would limit themselves and some don't. I still have strong friendships with my friends, even in the pandemic. I would often text them through Facebook Messenger, play Among Us with them, meet through classes, and more. Social media has helped me to connect even more with my friends than before the pandemic. 
I have also gained more friends because I have new online classes like my robotics class and K-pop dance class. I believe that because of the pandemic, people can become closer because we're just one video call or text away. Before, we couldn't always spend time together because we were so busy. We'd always have to physically meet up and we live so far from each other. Not to mention, Manila is second to the most traffic place in the world based on the website TomTom. Tom. But now, we can easily contact them because we ignore geography and let in more social media into our lives. But always remember to use social media wisely. Friends are the frosting in our cupcake, so we must connect with them, especially now during the pandemic, so we can still gather exciting adventures together. Friends bring us happiness into our lives. Even more, godly friends both bring us happiness and Jesus into us. I am blessed to grow up with godly friends, like my friends in homeschool and Kids for Christ. They are very friendly, patient, caring, selfless, fun to be with, and so much more. I am still very close to them during the pandemic, and you should be too. I am Miguel Ocampo declaring yes to physical distancing and a big no to social distancing.